All right, hello everyone. My name is Trainer Brent, and today we're gonna to be talking about how to properly do a side lunge. Now, many of you are already familiar with lunge where you step back and sink down, and that's plenty hard. Uh, in my experience, I have taught people to do the side lunge and they felt a little better about that and they felt that it's a good way to start off doing lunges and then they can start practicing the rear lunges. So if you feel like you're struggling with those rear lunges or if you feel like you want something just a little different, come with me and I'll teach you how to do some side lunges. The beautiful thing about this movement, you need no equipment, you just need your body. So first things first, what you want to start off with, feet hip width apart. Now I do have a limited camera angle here, so I'm going to do the best I can. And with the side lunge, you're stepping to the side. So what you want to think about is we'll pick our left foot first. So I'm going to scoop myself a little this way. Right foot is going to stay right here. Right foot is going to do absolutely nothing. What you want to do with the left foot, you want to step it out, bend the left knee, and sink down like this. So note that my chest is still up, and I'll give you the side here, view here in just a little bit, but the knee is bending, this knee is bending, you're pushing the butt back, your chest is up nice and tall, and that leg is going long. Then you're going to step up, and same thing on the other side, that right foot, you're going to step that right foot up and out, bend in the right knee, push the butt back, sink down and then come up. So from a side view, it looks like this, and I'll do my right foot here again. You want to step out, and make sure to really pick that foot up. Sometimes people kind of drag their foot. Don't let your foot drag. Really pick it up, work on that balance, step it out, bend in the right knee, and let the left leg go long. So notice how my back is flat, pushing the butt back, bending the knee, but I'm watching my toes every now and again. I take a glance down towards my toes, because I don't want this knee to come over the toes. Meanwhile, this leg is going long. So with the other foot, it looks like this. I'm stepping out, bending the left knee, and again, the right leg goes long. So one of the most common mistakes I see with this movement is that they kind of, they bend both knees. And this isn't a squat, this is a side lunge. So you really want to keep whatever leg is staying in place, you want to let that knee go long. This movement can be a little weird to do, especially if you have some joints that don't always want to move at quite as much. If you're looking to ease yourself into this movement, one thing I like to have my members do is practice just stepping. Just step first, and then back in. Just step, and then maybe with that opposite knee, bend a little bit. And then step back in. Work yourself into it. Take your time. So step, bend the knee. Step, bend the knee. And just start to practice that. But remember, some of the keys with the side lunge, keep the back nice and flat, push the butt back, but keep the chest up. So don't let the torso, when you do your side lunge, don't let the torso bend over like this. We don't wanna bend the torso forward. We wanna push the butt back, but we wanna still keep that torso upright because we wanna take care of our spine. Thank you very much and have a wonderful rest of your day.